between the guys, like I'll take her clothes off, and they're these two are making out next to him. They're wearing their like. I'm like, are you trying to wake Jason up? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> they don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Welcome back to Bad Movies Rule, the worst movie podcast ever recorded. And today we're frozen, floating through space, getting ready to thaw out and fight Super Jason. Woo. Or as Clint would say, Jay Socks. <laughs> what was that? Just because of the X? Yeah. I'm so happy he's not here today. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just that's, slicing a throat was, right off the I bat. Know, I'm I thought it sorry. was Jason 10. It is Jason 10, but he thought he just kept saying Jasonx. Yeah. Because he's obnoxious. That's his S-O-N-X. defining X. Roman numerals are hard. That's right. That they are. It's true. <laughs> Kerb, I'm joining us this morning. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you, yeah, sir? I'm fantastic, dude. Welcome back. I'm glad to be here. Are you a big uh, Friday the 13th guy? Uh, no, I hate horror movies. Oh, perfect. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I <laughs> wouldn't call this a horror movie, though. I, That's fair. I will say yeah. that, uh, you know, uh, having a good couple of buddies of mine that are into that stuff got yeah. me into it. And okay. I still appreciate the genre. All right, so. perfect. Us, one it's one of us, is one of us. Is one of those the guy sitting to your left? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of them. Joel in here Goratowski. Today. Hey, welcome in, man. Hey, thanks for having me back, I, dude. Of course, always happy to have you here. We're right in your wheelhouse today. I feel like I had to be here. Yeah, like yeah. Halloween is kind of my my little thing, right? So I feel like yeah, I, we're not. I, I, you know, this whole podcast devoted to horror movies. We don't no. do them a ton, but no. I yes. figure it's October, so we got to do. Do Some it horror. in spirit. That's right. One in Rome. That's right. And so joining us, we have a very special guest today that also we'd say is in the wheelhouse here for a, a horror movie. The other friend you referenced that's yes. into it. Yes. The uh, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Keith Bentel is in the house the today. The handsome. Clearly. I Keith like Bentel. Bentel. Handsome works. Handsome man. <laughs> you can say I like horror, but I, I like handsome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Welcome, man. How you doing, brother? I'm great. Great Thanks to be for here. being here, dude. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. that. Yeah, I've name dropped Keith a few times in yes. a few episodes. Uh, him and Joe Perini, and the other, uh, yeah. the other one buddy of mine in this. Yeah, group that's that right. I probably won't ever be on this. And podcast. it was so nice that at least one of them got to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, <Works> for me. <laughs> <laughs> You've chosen yeah, poorly. Between between the three, the two Joes and Keith, they have gotten me into uh, into horror movies. Well, as long as it's not another Ryan, we can't have any more Ryan's yeah, on the no. show. Honestly, we're yeah. done with those guys. Like we're, we are, we're at our capacity, aren't so we? I told people you can have some friends on, but they can't be named Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, what the hell you think we're doing? Or here? Joe? Or I'm Joe. the only Joe, Joe here. That's right. Well, thank you guys for coming in. Let's get into the vitals so everybody knows kind of what we're talking about here. We've already let the cat out of the bag that we're talking about Jason X, which is a Roman numeral for ten. This is Friday the thirteenth, ten. Right? You guys are going to have to help me with some of this stuff because, again, not a huge horror movie guy. I've probably seen three Jason movies. Is that because of Bob or just same thing? Just because you were watching them before Bob? No, I think I saw my first one when I was too young, and then I was like, "I'm good. I don't ever want to do that again." And so then I just kind of stayed away for the most part after that. But this movie, the tenth one, was directed by James Isaac, who, if you look at his filmography, I don't know how he got this job. He was a special effects guy, but he hadn't really directed anything before or since. The movie was written by Todd Farmer, who has some cred in the horror movie world he wrote my bloody valentine and drive angry did you ever see drive angry no that's not really a horror movie it's a <laughs> nick cage and amber turd uh <laughs> that's my commute on 41 <laughs> going south <laughs> nice the movie stars kane hotter lexa doig <laughs> close enough uh, yeah uh, jonathan potts and lisa Ryder. and if you don't recognize any of those names that's yep. the, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. That's all right. Congratulations. Maybe Kane Hodder. Kane, you should hear of Kane yeah, Hodder. Kane Outside Hodder. of that. Yeah. Is he the original or one no. of the originals? No, he started in seven. Mm. Okay. So he did seven through ten. I think he did seven, eight. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then he did not come back for Jason versus Freddy. Okay. Mm. I actually met Kane Hodder. This is years ago. Benny was down doing a Fangoria, Benny Waddell. And Kane was walking around. And he's like, oh, that's Kane Hodder. And we said hello to him. Not a super big dude. No. You know, he's like six foot maybe. So what are the reasons he's not in Jason versus Freddy? He wasn't <laughs> tall enough. Oh, is that why? Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
One of the fans of the show actually is, um, I hope he doesn't mind us dropping his name here, is Douglas Tate, who is the uh, stuntman for Mike Myers and Jason when was in Jason versus Freddy and would do all the, uh, he wouldn't do the walking and the stalking, but anything that required a stunt, uh, he would be wearing the mask for that Fall stuff. Fall through so. a window or out of the sky yeah. or something. Yeah, sure. And he's a BMR fan, so shout out to Doug awesome. Tate. Nice. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to do one of his uh, one of these times. My budget for this movie was $14 million, and the box office was only $17 million. Cut That's that in a, half, right? Yeah, cut it in half. Mm-hmm. Theater, in half. Theater gets half, which means you didn't make enough money. Uh, it's currently sitting at a 4.4 on IMDb. Ooh. Uh, better than the last movie we talked about, but it's still not great. Uh, 19% on Rotten Tomatoes with a 25% audience score. So across the board, critics, people, box office. Everybody it hated it. Failed on all fronts. Yeah. Why? It was such a great movie. It was phenomenal. <laughs> this is amazing. They movie. took a character that wasn't supposed to go to outer space and put him in outer space. That's right. Yep. Well, that's what they do when you jump the shark with anything. Like, what yeah. do we do? I don't know. Shoot his ass into space? Yeah. Uh, you know. Okay, sure. Let's do it. It worked yep. for Hulk. That's It went wonders <laughs> for Hulk's character. Yeah. All right, well, and what works wonders for us is when you guys listen to the show, and we appreciate that you're here. Thank you for listening. If you could do us a favor, head to our website, badmoviesrule.com, sign up for our email newsletter. We're going to be giving away swag to people randomly that are signing up for the email newsletter. So just go down to the bottom of the main page. There's a place to sign up, or you can click the support tab. There's a way to sign up from there as well. And uh, you might get some free swag, stuff that's not available for sale anywhere. Uh, could be on its way in the mail to you you uh, if you have some suggestions for the show or you just like to reach out our email address is this show is trash at gmail.com you can also become a member of our patreon it's another great way to connect with the show for as little as three dollars a month you can get access to bonus episodes at other tiers you can vote on episodes upcoming you can also even participate and submit awards to be read on the show something that keith himself has done before if i'm not mistaken i have then yeah. here he is now in person so look at that what tier gets you on the show that's what I want to know. We should have another tier. <laughs> should get on the show tier. We'll fly you to Wisconsin and then you can come on the show. But uh, in this case, Keith was already in Wisconsin. So that worked out. Nicely. Yeah. But yeah. if any of you other guys are ever in Wisconsin, hit us up. You can come on. Uh, I'm at our Patreon members. Not literally anybody. That's <laughs> listening. I don't know. I, mean, I, mean, I, think, I think if you had, if there was a big enough donation, we'd yeah. have you on the show. Oh, for sure. I'm glad I got in. Before yeah. That. yeah. Before that. I, was say, <laughs> I wonder what that number would be. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, you guys ready to dive into Jason X? Jason X. Jason X. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. How does this movie start? Do you guys remember? Yeah. So, uh, the pit of hell, the seventh layer of hell. Well, kind of. that was <laughs> kind of. it's all in his mind. Well, that's where I was very confused because so I know the movie before this is Jason Goes the Hell. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And then Freddy's glove, I think, comes up out of the dirt and, and earth and pulls his mask down. Does Correct. it? Yes. Yeah. That was before this? Yes. That yeah. Before. So that's why I was very oh. confused because this movie starts like he's in hell. Yeah. So I'm like, was well, that a continuation of Jason versus Hell, or is technically Jason versus Freddy the yeah. continuation? Let's of get Jason in the weeds on this. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, because Jason's <laughs> depressed, and his his mind is his, is his own hell. I see. That's what it was. Is that what it he is? He actually didn't. Was it? Uh, what was the movie right before called? I mean, it was just, just, Jason, Jason goes, goes to hell. hell. Jason goes to hell. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Like, that was actually not real. That was just all in his head. The whole what? thing. Is yep. that what it was? He was just tripping. He had some mushrooms. Mm. It was like Fight Club. Well, he's in the ball. woods. <laughs> he was tripping balls. He's in the woods. The whole time. He's in the woods getting blasted <laughs> on mushrooms. <laughs> so, yeah. So that movie actually never happened. That's why Jason he wants to tripping. kill everybody. Yeah. Right. It's just having a bad trip. Yeah. His yeah. souls were thin because he was tripping all the day. That's but awful. just the general You're plot synopsis. You're some really bad jokes today. If we just want to go over, in just in general, the plot it. synopsis of this movie, uh, Jason kills everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Not everybody. But that's not, not everybody. But no, a surprising amount survived. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I, they made this reference later in the movie that Jason's head is empty, right? Essentially, it's like, how does he function with a, such a small brain, I think they say at one yeah. point. Yeah. And so we find as they pull out of what looks like a hellscape, it's actually the inside of his head. 
Yeah. And there was like just nothing in there. And I thought they were going into like an autopsy is what it looked like. Kind that of is, like. I think that is too. That's one of my favorite parts about the intro is that there's a story. Yeah. Like, I'm not just seeing words across the screen with oh, sound. It's an worst. actual story yes. being told, giving you a, what little information you're going to get out of this movie. <laughs> it's about <laughs> all the information, actually. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much Jason is nothing but brainstem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So answer my answer this for me, because, again, I'm not into these movies too much. Does he get killed in every movie and then he always comes back? Yeah. Yeah. He's unkillable. Mm-hmm. Okay. So is he a person? Yes. Or he, he was. He was. Now he's technically a zombie. Okay, because after he, seven or eight, something like that, is yeah. that okay? So that makes a lot more sense because I'm just seeing him get shot and stabbed. I mean, he was and, melted down to nothing <laughs> in Manhattan. Yeah. Okay, how does he survive? He's like Wolverine w- without the claws. Yeah. He just regenerates. Yes. Okay, so he's not. Does that explain the Houdini moves he's got throughout I, yeah, this I movie? Don't know. Where Listen, one minute he's teleport. here, and then it's, yeah, <laughs> he's, told, he's got superpowers. He's got, go- he's got Google Maps. He's an expert. <laughs> In place of a brain. Yeah. All right. So they've got him locked up and the, the movie starts. He's in this kind of, well, it's not even a prison cell. It's a gigantic open room and he's chained up like Houdini and like a straight jacket plus he's wrapped up plus yeah. chains and bars an around him. Unnecessarily large, of stuff. dark room with one inept guard. <laughs> yes. What? You think he's going to escape? Yeah. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, Never. technically they had had him for years. So. Yeah. Right. We won't he just that waited. Yeah. Of why he, he just waited for the right now. moment. Jason until doesn't sleep. He waits the, <laughs> until the one idiotic <laughs> guard waits. breaks the perimeter. Right, and as soon as as soon as he comes around the bunker, I'm like, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yep. like yep. what a moron. Yeah, yeah. kid like, cover up. Yeah, I just don't want. He's like, they like, no. Jason's like a bird. You put a blanket over him and he goes to sleep. This is. <laughs> Canary. He's like a canary. He's like, look at this for a while. I think it, was, it had to be the opposite because he had been sleeping right. prior to that. Yeah. Right. And, of course, that's exactly what happens, right? I mean, we don't see it happen, but he covers Jason with a blanket, and then it cuts away to, well, it's our first introduction to, God, I had to look at what her name was, Rowan, who is Lexi, Lexa Doig, but you never, like, I'm just going to call her final girl because- final girl. She's final girl. You She's never, listed they, as final girl. Is yeah. she listed? Yeah. Because you never they never say her name in the movie or anything, right? No. Okay, so final girl is in a you know pants suit. She's a businesswoman, scientist, doctor, intern, secretary. We never know All what right. the hell her job Meets is. Meets up with Jerry Springer. What? I was going to say <laughs> evil, evil Harold Ramis. <laughs> it's David, David Cronenberg. Cronenberg. Yeah. yeah, it's like the, uh. the most random. Like, why is he in this movie? He's in this movie because he worked with the director. The director did his special effects for several of his uh. movies. And he said, hey, I want to be in your movie, but you have to kill me. Oh, okay. Check Which, that off the list. That happened. Yeah. I did think it was funny that they were going to. Well, they were arguing about whether or not to turn him into a popsicle, which they wanted to freeze him because they didn't know what else to do with him. Or send him to Scranton. <laughs> I just got this like, idea of him just working in the warehouse at the office. <laughs> you know, I'm like, we're, we're going to send him to our Scranton facility. And then there's just, Jim and Pam just, just getting <laughs> slaughtered. <laughs> That's oh, no, not Daryl. <laughs> He's just mixed in with the paper product. That's it, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's just back there stacking boxes. <laughs> uh, rain comes down and starts yelling at him. Michael's making stupid jokes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So Michael versus said. Jason, finally. Hey. That's the movie we've been waiting for. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, so they cut back and then they to go to uncover what we ever did. Anyone not think it was the guy when they no. pulled the blanket off? You thought it was no. okay, thank you. <laughs> Originally, not this time, right? <laughs> they pull the blanket off and it's the guard that's now hanging there. And yeah. there's like, I don't know, 27 armed guards and they just get annihilated. All of them dead. Within minutes, all of them. Not gone. even minutes, seconds. Just gonzo. And it's just like. <sighs> It's a, it's a trope. It's no, it's a trope. I'm just trying to think of how to phrase how to phrase this question. Like, what the hell are they doing? Because at this point, they've all got to know who Jason is. They've had him for a long time. They yeah. know he can't be killed. Guns don't work. Guns. They Nothing know that gones, gu- gones. 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 Know- those might not work either. <laughs> you, <laughs> they you know don't they toss gones. <laughs> they don't. You break lo- glass. So what the hell either. are they? What the hell are we doing here? Like, well, how do they not have some kind of containment? Again, procedure. it goes back to that. If you listen to what she's saying, they've had him for years. This is the yeah, like a research facility that they somehow captured him and mm-hmm. have had him for years, and he hasn't done anything. They've had done autopsies. Like he's they've tried to kill him. I know they tried to they kill tried, him like they, they twenty him. times. Yeah, oh, they, yeah. that's right. She says that later, right? They yeah. gas tried to gas him. Yeah. yeah, 
Not the erotic of sophisticated. So they did. That one. I can understand. Oh, work it all. Cut that one out. No, he hates it. <laughs> Listen, he did, sexy stuff just pisses him off. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Okay. It's, yeah. There's been no sexy stuff on the facility <laughs> He's for celibate. 10 years. He makes sure. He makes sure that doesn't happen. There's a sign when you come in the office, don't even look maybe at each other. Why, yeah. Maybe that's why he was going to Scranton. Maybe he was going to be a part of HR. <laughs> He's a Jason X is a virgin. Yeah, seriously. So they fast forward to the future because what ends up happening here is it ends up being final girl and Jason. Everyone's killed but her. Yep. She, she runs into the cryo unit. Yep. Lures him in there. Lure, should say yeah, it's better. She definitely does because there's like she actually. I go in my notes. It said that she went from being like the smartest final girl to one of the dumbest final girls. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. She lined him up. Specifically, time the shots to get him to walk in front of the cryo unit. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, "All right, that's impressive." It's all downhill. Right, but then she yeah, like hugs. The, then she like moment. hugs the cryo door yeah. <laughs> and like like it starts like, "Yo, man, I got you, sucker! Ooh, look at you, Ice Man in there! Ooh, Mister Freeze over there!" <laughs> Machete straight through the door. Done. Yeah. Through ten inches well of folded designed. steel, right into yeah. her womb. Not to mention. The amount of room that you need to have to even swing a machete, <laughs> it has to be at least five feet right. open, and there was not that amount of room. She <laughs> just, <laughs> he's like the Bruce <laughs> Lee, the one-inch punch. That's yeah. exactly what of, it was. Of serial killers. It's impressive. Yeah, she pu- it stabs her through the 10 inches of folded steel with his machete, it leaks out then the, the cryo freeze, yeah. and ends up turning the whole room into a cryo freeze, yeah. which is how we get into the plot of the movie. They're yeah. both frozen you well, into the future. Jason, right. 500 years in the future. <laughs> you leave the fridge open, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's for 455 years. 455 maybe. years, yeah. the longest but nobody, time. Nobody, like, she yes. didn't have any family members to check up on, any other colleagues or. Like no, everyone in the office like, was in that room. Like, no. Yeah. The facility that. holds power for 455 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. We're good. But that's a good point. We're, no one else works there. Yeah, no one yeah. else works there. No, no one else checks dead. in. <laughs> yeah. no one else but like you said, the lights are still on. There's got to be no. some sort of generator running that thing. So that was, a, that was a Thursday. Society actually collapsed that Friday. So you don't know. Like, so <laughs> yeah. right after that, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's just bad timing more it's than anything. Though, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so now we are in the future. We know because of the cobwebs. Uh, yep, that's you know, true. Those didn't freeze. <laughs> those yeah, don't, no. Don't freeze. No frozen spiders. Nope. Right? They come in, yep. a whole Six. team of Star-Lords. Oh, you beat me to it! <laughs> you beat me to it! <laughs> Did he get I wrote it down. Six Star-Lords. I thought they looked more like sand people at first. And then, oh, and then another I went, one! Yeah, then <laughs> I, when we were talking about it, I was like, oh, yeah, you're... So right. More we were watching Star-Lord, it together, yeah. and it was just like, dude, it's a bunch. Star Lord, Star Lord, yeah, Star, Star Lord, yeah. We started to do it. Hey, yeah. nice mug, dude. Yeah, I just noticed that. And his face is handsome. Oh, well, can I show this to the? Look at that part. Look at this <laughs> nice piece of swag Keith brought in today. All right, sorry, commercial over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Batman and Robin? All right, so, so toys, oh, oh, merchandise. You know, it's like people only do things because they get paid, and that's just really sad. Yeah. Guys. you know, I don't ever want to be like Damn this. Damn the man! This goatee is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Is I will not bow tea? to any sponsor. <clears throat> or is that my team? <laughs> All right. So anyway, the, so the team of Star Lords comes in, um, and they're looking through the thing. They realize, oh, there's frozen people in here. Yeah. Right? No yeah. viruses, no bacteria, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I swear. It's okay. They got masks. I, I was like, come on, really? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. No wonder. It, you're in a freezer. No, <laughs> there's going to be no bacteria, no viruses, no... Yeah. Yeah. At but, no point in time are they worried about viruses in this movie. No. Yeah. At all. Yeah. They, Except for that moment. We learned yeah. two important things in this mo- in the scene specifically. One, hockey was banned in 2024, so yep. Yep. enjoy it while it's still here. Yep. Cowboy hats are still a thing. Cowboy <laughs> hats are still a thing. <laughs> and the other thing was that Jason can still cut your arm off even when he's frozen solid. Oh, yeah. And you shouldn't touch coffee cups. Apparently, there's a coffee cup that just sticks... Yeah, who's somewhere no. in the movie, who's drinking coffee Who? in the cryo chamber? <laughs> These coffee cups won't stick to your hand That's if right. you leave them in the freezer for 450 years. Yeah. That's right. I was pointing out. That movie's real and why did it stick to his hand? Was it just because it, it was so cold? cold. It was but so that's cold. a good question. Who was drinking coffee in the cryo room <laughs> yeah. before? Did she bring that in? She, while she, was, she was like, she was Jason. waiting for Jason to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> just he'll be in make here myself soon. a hot cup of Joe. He'll be in here soon. Java Joe coffee. That's right. <laughs> 
All right, and so they they ultimately what ends up happening is Jason falls over. They they open the cryo door. He falls out. He still has his machete raised up over his head for no reason. How? Uh, how and why? He had it stuck <laughs> through the door right. when he was frozen. And then he pulled it out. And what's he raising it for at this point? I don't know. He falls out. It's really just so he can fall down and cut this dude's arm off. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, and it's actually kind of a cool piece of technology they showed him having his arm reattached, which is a good setup for how the nanobots work and all that, which we're about to get to in a second here. That was a better visual than some of the other ones in this movie when they she puts the piece on his arm and yes. like suctions to it. It was yeah, actually one of the better looking cool, effects. Yeah. No, 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 it was cool. Not most of them weren't, but yeah, that was. <laughs> Saran wraps his arm to keep it fresh. That's right. Yeah. Should have been aluminum foil. <laughs> they they, they bring the two of them onto the spaceship. Weird okay? thing. Mm. And we immediately meet this like skeezy cowboy hat wearing yeah. pilot, right? He's like, "You leave Fat Joe alone." <laughs> Is that what his name? <laughs> he Fat goes, Lou. Fat Lou. Fat Lou. Fat yeah. Lou. He's like, "Oh, they found a girl." <laughs> yeah, found a girl. Him cowboy Weaselton. <laughs> I mean, he was like, "Giggity giggity," right? I mean, he was just like every every time he said let, anything, he was being like girls on this ship now. That's right. Seriously, <laughs> say it. Right? And he no. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> "Keith is here." <laughs> no. Our guest it wants like, to see Ooh, a girl. Guest wants to hear you do that. Winners take all. I will not. Uh, <laughs> they have girls in the ship. <sighs> we all so let ladies up in the ship. All right, so they bring. So they they go back up to the <laughs> ship. It's better when you guys do it. They bring them up to oh, the God. ship, and they're like, "Oh, you know what? We think we can bring her back." He's like, "What about him?" No, it's impossible. Yeah. yeah. Like, why is it impossible? Like, they were both alive when they got frozen. My only thought on that is that he's technically was dead already. Oh, yeah. because he was yeah. a zombie? He died a few movies ago, so. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Until I later. thought it was just a convenient plot device. Yeah. But they're basically, they have the technology. We have the technology. We can rebuild her. They're going to try and bring her back from, because she had been stabbed, but then immediately frozen. Sure. So I don't know if she ever died, died. But this is, this is what the plan of these. And it's like a doctor with medical students is what I gathered anyway, or yeah, scientists. Yeah, yeah. And then a bunch of like space marines. That's what make up the crew Obviously. of this ship. That they, I've got to have space, space marines. marines. When you're ripping yeah. off aliens, you got to yeah. do it right. Heavy. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> can I also just say this is the first time I realized that we're watching this. This is one of the horniest movies I've ever seen in my life. And you may, haven't watched enough Friday the Thirteenth. Maybe yeah. I haven't watched That's, enough Friday the Thirteenth. It's a staple. Is it? It's it's the it's the whole where the whole things you know don't have sex. If you, right. have, if you have sex, you're gonna die in a, in a horror movie. Yeah, that kind of came from this. It, okay, because yeah. the the next five to ten minutes of this movie are, is just again over the top. The horniest movie it I've was seen. A over the top. Not, not like, like it it's not a sex top. movie. I think there's a difference between like sex movies and horny movies. Yeah. There's not any sex in this movie. This movie's just super horny. Does that make sense? Like Porky's. Porky's yeah. was a horny yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, like, here's the first example. They put her out on the table, right? And they're going to first strip off. All, like, Can you get her clothes off? I'll do it. Like the first guy yeah. runs over. Like, oh, oh, oh. I got the scissors. And oh, well, her underwear was way too close to her wound. They had to cut those off of her. Of that course, was important. Right? Was way too close to the wound in her chest. Yeah, but cover her with <laughs> chain mail. <laughs> well, she has like partial chain mail. And then after the nanotechnology, she has full chain mail. Yes. Like, that right. was part of the rebuild. That's right. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, and then the other, there's other two that's making out next to a steaming corpse. Yeah. Right? Like, Jason is literally, there's just, like, steam rising from Read his body. The room. And their teacher is literally <laughs> yeah. there. It's like, and she's like. Everyone's missing the bottom half of their shirts. Yeah. All or the, of them. The whole Again. center of their shirts. <laughs> They're in, like, a doctor facility. <laughs> They're wearing half shirts made of fuzz. Yeah. They're not worried about any disease. <laughs> okay, I get what you're saying. No, yeah, that's true. It's like they had a bus. sale on Kmart at... 2000 and whenever this movie was made. Just Britney uh, Spears videos. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nothing but sweaters. Uh, yes. They're just making out right next I mean, to him. It was. Between the guys, like, I'll take her clothes off, and they're these two are making out next to him. They're wearing their... Like, I'm like, are you trying to wake Jason up? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> they don't know what you're doing. Because that's the only thing. The that gets Jason clamps. to kill. Yeah, well, when, the, when, the, when, the, when they're... When the two of them, so she dis, she dismisses the two. She's like, "Would you guys just go have sex and let me do this, yeah, like, yeah. or whatever?" Basically, let me like, do my job. Oh, I don't thank watch. you. And so they're going and they're starting to do it, 
in their other room or whatever. Yeah. And literally it cuts from her going, uh, to Jason's fist like balling up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then he sits up and I'm like, oh, he heard you. The music for that was fantastic <laughs> too. It's like, <laughs> he sits up sits like right up. Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, here I am. But like, it's like they were trying to do that. And yes, and thank you because you brought it up. The freaking like world championship titty twisting nipple champion. Yeah, the grinding yeah. titty twister. What the yeah. frick was that? Yeah. I want to point out that that did not wake Jason up. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. Jason's a the, little the freaky. robot nipples. <laughs> Jason was. Like, <laughs> that's the other horny yeah, thing. Yeah, robot the ro- nipples. The robo nips, and then they got the the nipple champ here getting yeah, his, <laughs> with his little nighty nightgown. I have to explain Jason's this like, to people. I'm, I'm done. I am not waking up for this. <laughs> you pass. He would, Jason waited for actual sexy things to happen. Yeah, he's like, I know the difference. <laughs> like, I, I know heard the those nipples fall. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. That was hilarious. She walks yes. into the room with the bo- so one of these students is like. Doctor, I need to talk to you about my assignment or whatever. And so she's getting in. I'm like, oh, he's hooking up with one of the students. But they're not hooking up. No, no they just cut no. to her in leather and him in a lace. What is the thing she had? Those are nipple clamps. Is that what that is? Yeah. That's a, like they haven't even I like, thought it was another ones. That's what they look like. I thought it was right. another oh, doctor really? tool. How would you know? I Don't thought it's questions you don't want answered. <laughs> I thought it was like forceps or like some you know, like some kind of medical tool, and yeah. she's she's got the, this is freaking it's nips a welding clamp in a welding clamp, yeah. and she's I just twisting the crap out yeah. of it, just purple nurple in them. It, just he's to, wearing lingerie like Bob had on in that one episode <laughs> here, right? Yeah. And he's like harder, and I'm just like, what is happening? Yeah. It this, makes you extremely uncomfortable. This scene is it really was not, not necessary. necessary. I would right. much rather watch the gore that Jason provides than this scene. Yeah, because yeah. they're not doing anything. No, no. there's no, there's no the sex story. happening. It doesn't. Right, it doesn't do anything. They have it's the other weird. two already like getting the job done. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't wake Jason, so there's no point. <laughs> I just looked at that guy and knew he was already with one of the students. I didn't need the scene to tell me. He was yeah, with one <laughs> oh, of no, we don't need to do that. You already no, knew but he was a huge. Yeah. Yeah. That Jason was woken up by all the horniness, and as soon as he sat up, I was like, "All right, now you messed up." Yeah, he, tried, he literally done. started having sex around Way Jason Voorhees. Yeah, as soon as he heard that moan, and he was he was up. Yeah, and is he's that surrounded by tools. sex going on. <laughs> is that heterosexual ding ding sex? ding! I will not stand for it. Right, but then he kills the poor girl. That wasn't her fault. She was the only one not doing anything sexy. Yeah, and was the only one that's ever been like. Concerned for him, like she actually <laughs> right. shows, like, "Oh, you poor baby!" Like, I can't believe you. Right? Was it when this. she was digging his eyeball out of his yeah, head? Is that where it was? Well, she was cutting his mask <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, yanking his bad eye out of his head to cryo freeze. Because we need to know about that. I yeah, I gotta have that. She has a whole yeah. sink filled. This is important. Uh, Dry ice. A whole yeah. sink filled with liquid nitrogen or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and she just is like free, like. No Why? petri dish, nothing. Just yeah. let me just stick this right in here. <laughs> just piles of body parts inside the sink. And uh, yeah, is that what Jason's for... face looks like? Have we seen his face before that yeah, reveal? Several times. Okay, yeah. if it's yeah. not the same, the only thing that's really consistent is the eye being yeah. basically closed and that he's deformed in some way. Okay, because I was like, "Whoa, is this a big moment here?" But it it been happened before. It, it it had happened before. Well, and yeah. the goo that just. Yeah. When yeah. she pulls off the mask. Oh, that was great. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> he drag and again, because it's a horny movie, he drags the girl over to the sink by her breasts. Okay. Yeah. Literally just was like, come on, you're coming with me. I was waiting me. for a nip slip I'm there. covering these so no one else can touch them. Because I don't have any sexy stuff happening on this ship. <laughs> None. <laughs> Zero sexy None. time. Drags him over. Drags him over. No, that wasn't him. Nope. Drags her over to the sink. <laughs> and like... At this point, now let's just take a pause and talk about this for a second. Okay. Whenever you get to the 10th movie of something like this, everyone knows what's going to happen. The only thing that is like, what kind of cool ways is he going to kill people? Exactly. Yeah. Right? That's, that's the, the whole point. I mean, everybody else is interchangeable at this point. Well, that's, I compared I'll it to like a Mortal. Movie. Right. I, yeah, I compared it to Mortal Kombat. One yeah. of my biggest, like, I mean, what makes the game exciting isn't all the characters that you already know. Right. It's the fact of how gory and how great are the end moves going to be. Right. You know, the the, the finish him. You know, wh- right. when's the finishing move going to be? She finished this him. This is going to be great. <laughs> well, no. he finished her. For sure. 
Yeah. For sure. Oh, they wait, become the, 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 the scientist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The professor. So he goes over and he sm- he puts her face in the the dry ice. Yep. Pulls it back up. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen. Got a nice shot of her frozen face there. Yeah. One, oh, smashes smashes it, it right on the counter. I I just, it was actually. I it mean, was a great effect. That's my favorite. Out of, kill out, yeah, out of oh, yeah. out of all the, the whole kills, series, all of them. Out of oh, all wow. the kills, that's the one. Like across the board, like people be like, yeah, right. no, it was great. Like, it was a crap movie, but you the know, problem Jim, we'll, we'll applaud to that. One. Yeah, yeah. Well, and the problem is most of the kills after that are not are creative downhill. at all. No. Yeah. I mean, there's a like, couple. There's a couple, but that's. I mean, it's that's a tough one to come back from. The start yeah. right off with one of the better characters and one of the best deaths. Yes, right up front. Yeah, that was that was that was they they kind of blew their wad early there. I think on on you, doing that one. Did you guys notice that in one of the shots while that's happening, there's just a guard randomly in the background not is paying there? attention. No, I oh didn't my gosh, that. that's fantastic! She's just like screaming and banging on the glass. And oh, that's right. Guy oh yeah, in the background. That was a, that was a, a Wish dot com Black Panther. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seriously he had the Black Panther necklace yes. and the shirt and everything. Yeah. That was discount T'Challa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. All right, so <laughs> at this point we gotta call in the Marines, right? Because yeah. somebody got killed. And we need more bodies. Yeah, can I just say this the next thirty minutes are the most boring movie part of the movie, yeah. right? Which is just them stalking the Marines all around. And again, most of the kills aren't that creative. They're almost all idiotic, the Marines themselves. You don't know any of these people. They don't do any character development on any of them. Doesn't so matter. it doesn't you who cares who gets killed? Yeah. But I also get why they don't do that because at this point everyone's there to see Jason. You maybe cared about the characters in the first or second Friday the thirteenth movie, or they might have tried to make you care so that when somebody died you were like, Oh no. Yeah. But by the time we get to this point, they're all interchangeable, they're all just cannon fodder. And so it doesn't really matter. No. Yeah. So that we don't know who anybody's name is. It doesn't yeah. matter. No. One of them matters. When they run in, yeah. it's, when, when they run in, it's like Airsoft One, Airsoft One. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just <laughs> running in like they're playing. So. Oh, I know. Yeah. We get suit up time, and well, the first thing we see is this VR game where Shaggy, right? Yeah, Stoner McGee. Yeah, Stoner yeah. McGee, yeah. Yeah. whatever. Azrael. Yeah. Token. Yeah. Thank you. The token character. <laughs> you always got to have one. I love how you know their names, and uh, <laughs> I just call them. Slappy and Dipstick. Uh, Which isn't much worse than the, all the names. in the Every name in this movie is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. They're terrible. And Jason walks in the middle of this VR game, and he's, they're like, oh, he's he's part of the game. So, Oh, yeah. Well, you're talking about stoned old Steve Austin? No, that guy's yeah. the writer, that's, by the way. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's the, the guy that wrote it's it? Todd, yeah. Todd that's Farmer. Todd Farmer. Yeah, that's Todd Farmer. Oh, good for Todd. <laughs> he named himself <laughs> Dallas after his no, main character. The, <laughs> so he just characters in Alien. called out that he was... Ripping off aliens, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He had no problem with it. Got That's it. That's great. Okay, perfect. At least he wanted to be honest. Uh, Jason. <laughs> give, him, give him some credit. <laughs> Jason uh, kills Shaggy. I'm like, oh, I'm glad we went through the like the problem of like, putting his arm back on. He's just going to get yeah. killed five minutes later. Yeah. And then and, slice the head off the other guy. Well, yeah. Well, he beats his head into the wall or whatever. Right. Again, not that great of a death. Then. Post VR. We get Wish.com, uh, Jimon Hansu, you know. Rallying the troops. Yes. What's his name? Um, Seal? Yeah. It was Seal before he burned his face or whatever, right? No, yes. he was the guy of 300. Yeah. yeah, so the guy that gets kicked into the pit. It's yeah. P- uh, Peter Mensa. Yeah. Yes. He's actually Mensa. a cool dude. I, 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 he's, he's, he's a cool dude. No, but he's the guy that you get when you can't get Demon Hansu. I know. On, but in, I still like movie. him, though. No, it's fine. I mean, he's a, I mean, he sucked in this, but yeah. He's in a lot of stuff. He a is lot a lot of TV. Yeah, wow. Agents of Shield. I know. I remember the song. Did that. you yeah. notice when they were smashing that guy's face too? It made the smear sound, but it never was touching the actual. Oh, that's wall. right. Yeah, not the sound. It was yeah. just sliding down, but his face is yeah, not it touching. Was, the- <laughs> but it wasn't on anything. That was great. That was really really good. I was like, oh. So uh, he's picking off Marines one by one, right? Mostly in non-remarkable ways. Yeah, the kills are pretty boring. But then there's this one Marine that actually gets a drop on him, and he shoots Jason, and he, like, back onto a hook. You guys remember this? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the space anchor. The sp- is that what it was? Because that was <laughs> my knows? first question is it's, what it is it? It looks like it serves no purpose. Right, why is it hanging there? Right? Definitely could it was be a, a chandelier, space anchor, actually, guys, right? <laughs> it was a chandelier. It was some decor that they had to kind of spice things up a bit. I got you. Yeah. Like Folk the, art. The guy that dies after that, who gets yes. cut in half, 
and then crawls away. Yes. His name's Kicker. So like, no, I, really? I get a chuckle of that every time because he has no legs. <laughs> that was pretty gruesome. Half a man there. There's also the guy that falls on the auger. Yep. The yeah. screw auger. And it just keeps going. Yeah. That was Which pretty good. was good until the line directly afterwards. Right. Yeah. Then they ruined it. <laughs> Where is he? He screwed. That's right. It's like... Fun one fact one. on that, that guy is polishing it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, foreshadowing. That, yeah, yeah. that guy is polishing that screw at the beginning. Oh, the yeah. auger, yeah. You in see the that. background. Like, Got to make sure this is good and slick. Yeah, I'm going uh, yeah. to make I'm sure. gonna be killing myself on this later. Don't, don't want any friction. <laughs> Can't some, have any friction. Some silicone spray on this. That's right. Get some uh, never know. polish. You never know when you can need it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buff this baby to a high sheen. Yeah, so what's funny, though, about the, when when he, Jason gets impaled on the space anchor, as Keith calls it, uh, he, he's like, I got him, sir, and they're all they're all cheering, and, and don't keep your, you know, keep he your says, eyes on literally, him. literally, don't take your eyes off yeah. of him. And what's he do? Turn Cuts back to him. He's already got his back. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, sir, I couldn't hear you. I lost reception. What is going on? Where I had to walk you? away. I had to walk somewhere else. Jason. We said don't walk away. <laughs> walk away? Okay, yes, sir. Got it. <laughs> he's able to just pull himself yeah, just grabs up the chain and just yanks himself off the space anchor. He's a limber guy. He's a lot of know, good yeah. upper body strength. Absolutely. Lots. Yeah. Lots. And, of course, the guy is killed within four seconds. Yeah. And, and this is kind of how it goes for the next bit of the movie, and people are picked off one by one until you get down to the main guy, the B- Peter Mensa, right? Yeah. Right. With one of the worst parts of the movie for me yeah. from a writing standpoint, he gets – you know, Jason reaches through the wall like RoboCop style and grabs him around the neck, okay? Yep. Because everything in this movie is ripped off from another better movie. And a thing comes through and impales the guy, yeah, you know, through the ribs. stomach or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, it's going to take more than that to take me out. And then a second one comes through and he goes, that ought to do it. <laughs> Who cracks a joke about their own demise? 50% of the people in this movie. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I hate that stuff. I get you. what you're trying to do is tongue-in-cheek. To a certain extent, I mean, this is like Josh Whedon esque writing through the entire thing. Yeah, it just—it's very '90s. It's rough. It's rough. It's super rough. It's rough. Okay, I'm like, what are you <laughs> doing rough. over there? Don't worry about me. Okay, <laughs> sorry. All right. He answers the emails. Watch out! Here comes the joke. We're in the middle joke. of doing a show, and you're like answering emails and stuff no, over I'm there. No, I'm not. I'm just quick checking something. Oh, all right. See, look, it's see, notes. I have my notes on my phone. Oh, look at those right. arrows. Look at that. You got a freaking X and Y. You got a graphing calculator. Well, I was, I to was, put that together. <laughs> well, the thing is, if we had more time, I know we're kind of on it. Which call? But I had like TI 83. I had like all like character tropes and like horror movie tropes. Oh, yeah. And like I was going to point out each movie. Oh, do it. There's so many. We would have been. We wouldn't have time. We wouldn't have time. I got it. Yeah. All right. So moving on. Exactly. They're going to escape. Into Space City or whatever the hell that what was it Solaris? Solaris. It? Yeah, thank you. Um, but of course, right as they're approaching floating Space City, Jason kills the pilot. That was down. Who we never know if he had legs or anything because he was just sitting in that chair. Yeah, but he was sad. Time. He was, he really was sad. sad. <laughs> he was sad. He was lonely. He was lonely. <laughs> so sad and lonely. I feel bad for him. All he wanted was a girlfriend. That guy from four hundred years ago. <laughs> giggity giggity. You, you know she's single. <laughs> She wasn't supposed to be. It's no. like if Bob was a character in this movie, it would be <laughs> that guy. Uh, yeah, but here's the funny thing. They destroy So obviously Jason kills the pilot and they blast through the space blast station. Through the city. Yeah. They k- destroy the city, but their spaceship is totally fine. Yeah, that's well, like half rock half, solid. Half because yeah. it's like a, a, it was a dome. Well, no, no. The, the spaceship is like in three parts. Yeah. The two large sections and the middle section. And the one of the, the, the sections on the, the outside was ripped off. So oh, now okay. there's just two two yeah. sections left. So they didn't seem to every, suffer the slightest inconvenience from that. <laughs> Instead of the 20,000 deaths. <laughs> I was in the 20,000 yeah. deaths and everyone was like, oh, no. They're literally like the space behind station. the guy in the window. You see the city just exploding yeah. behind him. He's like, what? Uh, are we not going to be able to go there? <laughs> <laughs> right? People are literally it's burning like, and it's disintegrating. Like Korg. It's like Korg, you know, oh, the, the foundations are still good. We can rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> nope, 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 it's screwed. <laughs> That's exactly it. That's exactly it. And so at this point, 
it's just this the medical students left. I'm I, I, medical, I think. I don't know, scientists, whatever. It's horny just teens. The horny teenagers and the doctor. That Is this left. where the, they're all like quiet? They're yeah, listening. because they're yeah. just like all, all the Marines have been killed. They've crashed through and destroyed this city. And they hear something outside the door. And so Final Girl is like, you guys are idiots for waking up Jason Voorhees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's basically the only time we cut back to them during the Marine scenes is like for her to tell everybody that they're all idiots. Yeah, I just maybe. wanted to see her more in the background. Like, I told you. Would you right? Stop it. You all morons. <laughs> and I do want to say one trope that I'm tired of in these movies. And again, it's kind of a ripoff from Aliens, which he said he was doing, is there's always the one guy that's like, why kill him? We could use him for money and yeah, science yeah. and yeah. let's Every keep him alive. One, yeah. It's like, like with the same thing with Paul Rubens in the, uh, not Paul Rubens, Paul Reiser in aliens, right? Where he's like, well, we're going to capture and use this thing for a yeah. weapon. Can you yeah. imagine yeah. Paul Rubens an alien? <laughs> that would have been all. Awesome. <laughs> 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 it would have been like fly on the navigator. <laughs> Best character in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but <laughs> so it's important to know that the doctor, that part. you know, nipple champ uh, earlier, yeah. called this sleeping hobo or yeah, whatever. Doctor Whistletooth <laughs> came out in yeah. a drawer, and he's like, What's up? I'm sleep- "I can't move. <laughs> I'm sleeping in this drawer. What are you trying to call me for?" Yeah. <laughs> it lays the narrative down but of he, who Jason is. Yeah. He knows all the murderers from yeah. 450 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, "It's not. Heart. It's not Jason Voorhees, is it?" What? <laughs> yeah. I have one Jason for sale. Anyway, the two of them were talking about, like, he, he, he's worth a few bucks. I'd yeah. hang on to him. Yeah. I need money. The guy who's desperate why? for money. They've said no reason why he needs know, money. He's floating around in a space university. What does he need cash for? <laughs> space university. That's why he's like a uh, doc. A, you know, he's got students. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. There's always scientists. There are always these people that are like, no, let's not kill them. Let's use them. And I just, they've, none, none of them have ever seen one of these movies yeah. because it never goes well. Right. It, we one time I want to see a movie where everybody's on the same page and go screw science. We're <laughs> killing whatever it is. We got this. Just one time, one time. Don't hold your breath. It's never going to happen. So merely, it's or, a trope for a reason. So anyway, everyone's sitting there, quiet, and listening. Yeah. And oh, that's right. Jason busts out? through the wall like Kool Aid Man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love how like, the one girl goes. I don't think he's out there anymore. Yeah. Right. I'm like, yeah. Like, he just. Gave up. Yeah. He just left. Like, no, yeah. Just walked they off the spaceship. Here. Ah. He, he's, he lost object permanence. Like as soon as he couldn't <laughs> see them, he thinks they're gone. So now he's predator. Just, <laughs> 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 he busts through. It. Yeah. Everybody uh, freaks out and they scatters. All scatter, yeah. Except for Nipple Champ. He's yep, the yep, only no. Dr. Nipple Champ yeah. is still there. Yep. And he, he tries to reason with him. <laughs> you know, so he, he tries just, to bribe him. He just needed his machete back. <laughs> Which is a good line. That's a t-shirt waiting to be That's made. a t-shirt. Don't worry, guys. He just wanted his, <laughs> his machete back. <laughs> I, th- the, I thought he was going to pick up Danny Trimble. <laughs> <laughs> because of the random space machete <sighs> wasn't good enough, apparently. Where did oh that my come gosh. from, by the way? that a normal operating no, tool? Yeah, <laughs> it would just happen to be laying there next to where you woke up. Right next like, to the nipple clamps. Oh, I'll use this. I can use this, yeah. <laughs> It's not quite what I'm used to, but, uh, you know. Bends the wrong way, but otherwise. It's like a little kid with his blankie. Like, Jason just needs that machete. Feels good. This is nice. (laughs) Feels at home. Joke ninja. I did did a no joke ninja thing, and it it, it totally just. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, th- I am disappointed that, it, like, of all the people in the movie, the one person we wanted to see killed was Dr. Nipple Champ, and it's the one person they didn't show. They do show his head later. They do. Yeah, but, yeah stuck on the machete. But, like, show the ki- show the kill. They yeah, didn't no, show I a agree. lot of kills. Like, well, there's a lot of there them. There was a lot of them that were off screen. It's like they were like, out of that's money the or point. something. That's the point, they probably guys. were. All right, now we get into the part of the movie where the, now the students are planning. We gotta, we gotta reroute the power to the thing and go to the converter and push get the, the gum, buttons gum, and put, turn the putinary valve. That's right. What we call it? And if we do that, if we beep boop on this panel, then we shoot Don't the power <laughs> into this one, and then we can get. I mean, it's literally gobbledygook. Yeah, it's yeah. Gobbledygook. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like, whatever, guys, just do just whatever <laughs> you're going to do to get out. We don't need to know. Yeah. No, right? No, no, just get it. There's down. a cockpit here they got to get to. There's another cockpit over here she's in, sitting in. Yeah. Get next to this door here and whatever. Dude walks into the. This is. Who's that guy? The old guy that was sitting at the table. Crutch. With like all this. Crutch, thank you. Yeah. Crutch avoided getting killed earlier. 
when the Marines were fodder for it's him. Because everyone forgot he existed. <laughs> so even Jason, Jason, Jason was like, "Oh yeah, you're yeah. in this movie." <laughs> <laughs> hey, I how'd forgot. You get a picture of me on your desk there. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's his reflection. Oh. <laughs> right. You made a great observation. We were watching it. You're like, why are they still using bullets 500 years in the future? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, or light bulbs, right? Because, <laughs> yeah, like, everything's dark. They're like, turn on the lights. Yeah. You well, could see Jason easier. Everything in this easier. movie glows. All the sets are just bright <laughs> colors because it right. came from a Disney channel. <laughs> Reject. <laughs> that's true. They don't need light bulbs. No. All right. So Crutch walks into the cockpit where Cowboy Guy had been before. And oh, it's yeah. just look, it looks, it looks like a meat grinder <laughs> in there. And they totally no sell. Like, like they just walk in and they're like, oh, look at this. Bummer. Yeah. I've seen <laughs> this worse. Guy's, this guy's dead. Like, <laughs> just. Even they didn't care just about Crutch. Nothing. <laughs> like, he's literally got to, like, pull all the pieces of flesh off right. of everything and sit down. <laughs> he moves the guy's head like a basketball was sitting on his chair or something. He's like, oh, let me get this out of here. Not before taking the earpiece. You know? Yeah, right. I got to put this earpiece back in. Wipe it off. You got a shirt? I can wipe this. Off. Yeah, take it off. Crush his head. He was wearing a shirt on his head the whole time. Yeah, he's got a little, little some some like the disinfectant wipes. He just kind of like just like pushing stuff around. Oh my gosh! Again, you guys. don't care about germs. Yeah, oh. nothing. Not no, nothing makes any sense. I just touched sense. this dead guy's body. No worries. I'm Nanotechnology. good. Technology. <laughs> yeah. Get the nanobots to clean it up. <laughs> Why is that not a weapon in this movie, by the way? Okay, that's thank you. That's a great they have question. Guns, but they're not using the amazing nanotechnology no. to kill things. Let's do that. Just reprogram. What is those my things. purpose? You to fix shit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So after they go in the meat grinder and they're trying to transfer power or whatever from that cockpit to the other one for the getaway ship, who knows? The other girl. Like girl number six, it literally is meaningless. Like she was upset ever since her boyfriend got. She was one of the ones that was screwing right off the bat, and Jason killed her boyfriend, Kenza. Kenza, thank you. And so she's crying. Is that the one with the paperclip pins? No, on her that's shirt? the no. that's the transgender one. The the <laughs> the girl that she's like, yeah, I'm, I, oh, I, the yeah. one that got her face splattered with blood from her boyfriend. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I, I thought we were just though, watching an episode movie. of Among Us. <laughs> Why just some, I thought, yeah, it turned into the game Among Us. It did. And even later on, the guy looked like yeah. an Among Us guy in the red suit. The red yeah. Suit, yes. It, perfect. That's what it turns into. <laughs> he was not the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> just one, du- one dude going around trying to kill everybody, and they're trying to complete their little tasks. That's You, you know what? That's not That's where far off. That came from, apparently. <laughs> That's not far off at all. Somebody watched this movie and went, oh, you know how you can make this good? <laughs> Turn this into make a video this game. not suck. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, she's in there crying in the cockpit, and she won't let anybody in. They're literally outside, like 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 they're outside a bathroom in a party. Like, it's okay, sweetheart, let me in, right? It's like, come on, I hate my life, <laughs> right? Like, it's okay. All my friends are dying. <laughs> <laughs> just open the door, and she just won't do it. Yeah. And so she tries to literally, assuming she's not a pilot, take off in this thing. Good assumption still tethered in, still tethered to the gas lines, but there's not like a fail safe or like the, there's something in this advanced spaceship to be like you can't go right now because the gas lines are hooked up it just no, lets they don't you have that technology in no. 400 years later it's like watching it's the same somebody. technology that that helps them have bullets <laughs> yeah she same. just oh, sorry no, go ahead. guys it's the same thing about you know seeing people fill up their car on a gas pump and then drive away well, it's, still <laughs> the, it's still attached it's like right. the same thing. Well, the 87 Buick that you have <laughs> isn't going to know <laughs> yeah. that you're still attached, right? For sure. 87 <laughs> Buick. <laughs> it's time for him to get a new car. I it's know. really I, it's I, embarrassing. I it's been a while. It's really been a long time. That that car <laughs> is older than, like, Kurt's wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By three years. <laughs> Just made it. Maybe four. <laughs> I'm not way. sure. I don't have any payments on it, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike somebody else's. Oh, that's yeah, true. I'm still paying for my wife. <laughs> that's a 30-year plan. All right. Hold oh, on, James. I'll be um, retired by then. <laughs> <laughs> she just hits the gas on this thing because she's still tethered. It literally just flies up into the ceiling and crashes <laughs> yeah. in, into the spaceship that they're all on. But they're fine. But yeah, barely affects them. Yeah. All we need is like a random red shirt to fall down. That's right. They just shake a little bit. That's right. It's a like, random nope. red shirt. I love. Oh, can I talk about all the shaky shots? Like so, like 
with high budget movies, they'll attach the sets like in Galaxy Quest or Star Trek, whatever, to like a gimbal yeah. so they can shake the bridge and everyone can like react <laughs> don't need that naturally. Either. But in this movie, there's like four different times where they just shake the camera and everybody's got to go, oh, they look like a, a yeah. Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, every time it killed me. I mean, Rowan in the scene, even before the crash, yeah. she almost runs into the door and has to like do a shaky scene right. that wasn't called for. No, just she's to just not like, run into the other actors. Er, der, der. Sorry, final girl. <laughs> All right, where the hell are we? Um, okay, so Jason, oh, this is the important part. <laughs> now it is. The <laughs> important <laughs> part. Yes, because it sets up the final. Oh, know. yeah. Jason shows up to finish them all off. They're at the end of this long hallway, right? Oh, yes. Yep. Can I? Well, you know what? We haven't even we haven't even talked about the robot chick that, that is part of this mean, group. Sexy about data? Nipples. We yeah. talked about her nips. Yeah, the sexy data. Yeah, so there's this. <laughs> you're saying <laughs> the data hot wasn't bishop? sexy? The hot bishop? I just realized that we didn't give any context. We talked about robo nips earlier, and anyone listening that hasn't seen the movie is going to be like, what the hell? What about are they the robo nips? You guys maybe. mentioned the robo nips? <laughs> there's this. Remember, it's this girl, and her name KM is KM. She is played by Lisa Ryder. It's okay, from yeah. Andromeda. And she from looks Andromeda. nothing like the robots from Ice Pirates. Mm -mm. No, she looks me. like a person, <laughs> <laughs> except she has no nipples because at one point his, her boyfriend slash creator, creator, creator is trying to give her a couple, but they keep falling off because she wants like, them. Why do you the, want these? Because the other like, girl. well, Beth has them. Yeah, or right, or whatever. Yeah. So she's actually that's not a female only. That's not a horrible Have you not female heard? trope. That was an incredible. I thought there was a girl in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was an incredible impression. <laughs> I was like, "What happened? Who we just came in here?" <laughs> anyway, Kurt, Kurt is under the impression anyone in this movie has the name of Beth, yeah. like a regular name. <laughs> it's the weirdest names. No, no, the, her name was Axiom Fourteen or something. <laughs> The point is, there's mm -hmm. this robot character who, while everyone's running around with their hair on fire going, ah, she's just literally walking around like, well, because she's a robot, right? right so no emotions. No emotions. And but she cares if she has nips or not. But she does yeah. care about that. <laughs> That's so weird. It's super weird. They, uh, <laughs> this is important to know that at this point there's a robot girl because right before this, while they're trying to get in the cockpit with the crying girl and all this, the creator is amassing all this firepower. He's like, oh, we've got enough guns and stuff in here to blow a hole in the in the world or whatever. The moon. Mm -hmm. The moon, thank you. And she says, well, our chances of survival are only 12%, and then he kisses her, and she's like, now it's 53%. How? Thank you. <laughs> He's like, I know something else that went up. <laughs> <laughs> and space herpes, that's That's how. what it is, space. So we brought it back. Hey. Call back. Should have a callback button for callbacks. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, all right. So this is all setting up. Jason now shows up to finish them off. But before he can, KM shows up. With an upgrade. Dress Not an upgrade. Oh, gosh. An upload. I, I, thank you. Upload. Yes, can I, upload. That was <laughs> the biggest facepalm <laughs> moment that I had watching this movie is, she shows up. She's like loaded with guns. She looks like Trinity from the Matrix, which come out like two years earlier. Yeah, so like yeah. another movie we can rip off. And the creator comes out. Perfect opportunity to say the correct thing. Upgrade. Nope. I gave her an upgrade. He goes, I gave her an upload. Yeah. Software update. <laughs> I turn it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> How hard is it to just say the right thing in this instant? Like, well, I mean, I assume you have more than one take. <laughs> So it's no, just bad writing. No. <laughs> right? That's what it's no Come it's, on, it's farmer. That's farmer's <laughs> fault there. I gave her an upload. That's probably not farmer. It's probably the other. Uploaded writer. an update? Is that that would maybe be I accurate. thought it was an innuendo. I it I probably was because probably. that's the jokes they were trying to squeeze in. Right. Squeeze but now she's it in. Oh. that's how you get an upload. But now she's also I know. <laughs> she also has the capabilities of Trinity from the Matrix now, this girl. Yeah. Right? She's cartwheeling at 100 miles an hour and flip flopping. Like, I mean, yeah. They still haven't realized that guns don't do anything, but, you know, shooting them with all the ammo, know, all the ammo, everything. She does have a BFG. But before yeah. that, this whole. <laughs> what she does? Before that, she gets. Jason's like, throws a machete right through her chest. Yeah. yeah. Which, mm -hmm. 
does sit up drops nice to her knees. Like, she I, drops to her knees and she just sits there like, oh, well, that didn't really work. <laughs> yeah. <out." laughs> yeah, I did like that little line from one of the, one of the girls in the back. She's like, oh, that was, that was very <laughs> anticlimactic. Yeah, right. <laughs> And you remember what Jason does when he walks over to her while she's just slumped over with the yeah. machete in her chest? <laughs> yeah, he just, he, sh- uh, he, he just, you see like a shrug, like he it, sighs, it's like a, <sighs> like, yeah. like he literally. I was anticipating this to be more. <laughs> yeah, before, like, before he pulls out the machete, he's like, you see him. Go. It's like his emotion. You know, like, uh. <laughs> like even Jason's over this movie. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. Uh, yeah. she goes nuts on him and now she's shooting him up with all this stuff and at one point she fires her gun she's got like these machine pistols and chops his arm off with bullets yes yeah and even jason's like what huh. <laughs> just looks what over at his arm you God, can I that? there. that's inconvenient <laughs> saws his leg off yeah. my machete arm and then she does the Sarah, she got like the sarah connor grenade launcher it's or my balloon hand you know when, when she would blow the <laughs> When Sarah Connor would blow these giant holes in uh, the T-1000 and T-2, yeah. right? Then she yeah. starts firing those in there. So he's got the big T-2 holes all over him, and then his head gets Blows blown off, off, yeah. Where it's literally just his jaw left. Right, and like half of the mask. Right. Yeah. The crescent moon of a, of, a, of a head. And he falls down on the nano machine. Which is important. <laughs> like, oh, we no, he's on up. the table. Well, good thing we killed him in the worst place <laughs> Possible. Yeah, they're um, all celebrating. And somehow the android doesn't even realize this. No, like no. she yeah. knows everything that's going on, doesn't think about this. No. no that you just you kill She's too concerned she's about her nipples. Too busy of getting <laughs> uploaded. She was like, Can I get uploaded again? <laughs> Instead, like we killed him. Where did you where'd you kill him? Oh, he landed on that table that brings you back to life. But other than that, <laughs> yeah. It's totally fine. Not fine, a big deal. But they directed the electric somewhere That's else. Right. Yeah. We beep booped it right out of there. <laughs> yeah. That's just, you There's know. no chance it's going to upload itself. Mm-mm. Activate <laughs> nanobots. I hate when I have to upload myself. <laughs> and did you guys ever see... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Yes. No. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Yes. Secret of the Ooze. Yeah. Well, Kevin Nash action. <laughs> yeah. <Little> super Shredder. <laughs> super Shredder, Tell yeah. me this wasn't Super Shredder, just... Jason. Yeah, yeah. no, it was it's basically this, the same thing. This is Robocop Jason. This is right. The nanobots not only rebuild him, but it looks like Jason has control of the computers. Because it like at one point they're trying to get through and they're like access is being denied and it even because says not enough tissue here. Not enough tissue, yeah. So it has to pick up stuff from a radius. Right. And so why I don't is know that a feature? You, <laughs> That's someone. Why is it put, doing it on its own? No matter. Yeah, yeah. Why? Somebody actually had to program that. Program that into the software. Good thing I wasn't eating Jello right before I got <laughs> blasted. <laughs> right. What if he? Had, <laughs> what if there was like a pinata sitting next to him or something? Like, what other combinations would we would have come up with? If Jason there was, pinata. What it if they were going to have axe, but it would have had the little squiggly mark above the axe? What if they were going to have a cookout and he fell into the s'mores supply? <laughs> Oh, no. Right? Yeah. Chocolate, marshmallow, marshmallow and chocolate. What if it was just like next to a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, urinal cakes? <laughs> Jeez. He smells minty. <laughs> or or he fell on top of Nipple Champ's body. <laughs> and you get doctor. He super doctor. Uh, doctor's Jason. like just the leg and he's like, help me. <laughs> just one big nipple show. All we <laughs> wanted was the machete. <laughs> this nip clamp. Honestly, if the movie had followed through with its through line, they would have just become a giant nipple. That would have been <laughs> what would have happened. Jason would have been game the one but thing he hates. <laughs> instead, instead he's like, no! <laughs> That's how he kills himself. <laughs> turns into a sex toy. It really, it really the turns out that yep. Jason was the only thing that could stop Jason all along. <laughs> it turns into Super Jason, which is this giant hulking. I mean, he looks like the ultimate warrior, but covered in titanium, basically. Yeah, and again, you find out he's bulletproof because they shoot at him. And now and it's I, just pinging off yeah, of him. Yeah, and he yeah. does, the again, the, the, the great reaction of, whoa. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Like, ah, ah. And he's coming down the hallway at them, but before he can get to them, they blow the they they blow the walkways yes. to detach part of the ship. Yeah. Well, but he just grabs on. Before that, he punches KM's head off. Oh, well, that's oh right. this yeah. is important because the Good. head continues yes. on for the rest of the that's yeah. right. <laughs> okay. And there that's was true. one other thing too. <laughs> Thank so you. So he's fighting everybody, and yeah, he's had a, he has a strength to punch an android's head off. 
But yet he swings, and uh, who's the main character? Main Rowan. girl, final girl, Rowan. final girl, Rowan. <laughs> She catches his arm like Captain America <laughs> yes, catches yes. Yeah. You know, at the gauntlet. He's like, Arr! she's like, Arr! <laughs> how did she how stop? How is that possible? How'd she stop his arm? 55 years of strength training yeah. right. and cryo. <laughs> yeah. They rebuilt her. See? With what? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I was that's okay. say Judge Dredd, that's the wrong that's, No, yeah. it's all no, good. No, no, yeah, no. Well, he latches. So after they blow the walkway, he latches on to the side because they're like, oh, we're good now. He. Again, punches through the hull of a spaceship. Yeah. Okay, to grab, and now he, that hole creates a vacuum because they're in space. Yeah, yeah. And so now we got this other tropey scene where they're all oh, like, "This really sucks." It's getting they're getting sucked through the thing Jesus. like a cheese grater. The worst kill in the movie. The freaking so one of the greats flies up to cover the hole. Okay, and it's yet another person making a crack about their own demise. Yeah. Yep. This sucks on so many levels. Yeah. She flies, and they don't even show it. No. In re- it was an alien resurrection. resurrection. They do the same they thing. They did better. a great Much version better. of that. What could have been that and scene. And that was like a pinhole size. Yeah. Right. That was and really they good. sucks that alien through that thing. Yeah. Over an extended and they period of time. Yes. They could have done that with her and been been like the kill of the year. No, but she they went through it. no its... money. <laughs> they like, didn't. Just and throw some sausage first of all, there. We're good. The holes were too yes. tiny that a human person would never have gone through it anyway. Well, that's the point. Let alone as fast as she did. It's just, it was just like and that. And there was nothing left over. There's no. bacon. No bone. No, no, yeah, <laughs> just, just, the bacon. Just they should have like, had her fold in half and get sucked out. Something. Something, something like they could have done practically would have been anything would have oh, been better. Jeez. Yeah. Whatever. All right, so the rescue ship is now on its way. Oh, yeah, okay. 45 minutes out. But they've only got 30 minutes. They've only got 30 minutes. Dun, and dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, so their big plan to stall Jason is they activate this VR version of Camp Crystal Lake. Best part of the movie. From. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I wonder why you would think that. <laughs> Tell me, why is it the best scene in the movie, because, Joe? Because the girl, that's the second girl, she's got a deep voice. <laughs> Holy crap. The one girl's like, let's have some premarital sex. She's like, yeah, let's have some pot. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what the? <laughs> the, oh, hope, the, yeah. the point is that they're leaning into the fact that Jason hates this, you know, sex, sexiness sex. yeah. or sexiness in any way, shape, yeah, or form. And, yeah, marijuana. and marijuana. And marijuana. So and pre- and premarital alcohol. sex. They go back to like 19, they literally said like load the 1980, you know, protocol Three, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, Camp Crystal Lake protocol. And so... It's these two girls. They're like, we're going to smoke weed and have premarital sex. We're going to pillow fight we each other. And then we'll pillow fight. Sex. Yes, right. Takes their, they take their shirt off. And Jason is just like, Overload. he's getting pissed yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And so the next shot killed me. He's, it's just him beating one, one of guy, them yeah. with the Rag other one. <laughs> one with the other. He's got one in a sleeping bag that he's wielding like a club. <laughs> <laughs> and just beating the other one. You're going to have to bleep this. <laughs> okay. He's beaten one mother with another mother. <laughs> the best part That's is he was supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Because they had a scene where he was swinging them in the air and smashing them in together, but they couldn't afford the wire work at that oh, time. Oh, no. That would have been awesome. But it's a throwback from Seven, yep. which is one of the best kills. Yeah. The best thing to me is after he gets done beating one, of that final shot against the tree. Against the tree. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that felt like it was extra. Like, he didn't uh, need to do that. Could you guys song. hear what was happening while he was doing that? No. They were it was giggling, the girls, right? they were giggling and yeah. going, ow. Oh, were they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they weren't dying. So he's going they're a computer like, program. They don't yeah. care. They're so like, he's oh, like, this is, I, yeah, this is oh, too much for him. <laughs> That's why he's getting so furious. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I'm doing whatever I can. I'm just going to smash this one against a tree. Oh, well, Jason's about to break through to them, but the Among Us guy shows up. Uh, <laughs> Peter yes. Mensa is still yep. alive. Yep. Sergeant Browski. Literally, thank you, Sergeant Browski, in an Among Us suit. Yeah. No, not even joking. That suit was the best part of this movie. It looked awesome. They like had it was left over from Red Planet or whatever the (laughs) other movie they were shooting in the other lot. It was a space. It was like a Space Odyssey something. Two thousand one Space Odyssey like style suit. It was was, yeah, just with color. Yeah, yeah, very much looked like or like a uh, where was it? Uh, Black hole. Isn't this? They didn't have something like that similar to Black Hole. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. It's the the thing is that it was a cool suit. They get away. Go ahead. The survivors are Final Girl, the creator of the robot, and the robot head. Yeah. Yeah. And they're able to get on the rescue ship before Jason can make it because Peter, Bur- or not Peter, Sergeant Borowski 
is able to stop them or stop Jason. Their lunge fight. They're, that's right. They just come running at each other. That blows apart, and so it's just the two of them floating through space. I got to tell you, that was a weird scene. <laughs> that's a way of putting it. <laughs> what the hell is going on when they re-enter Earth 2's atmosphere? Because now they're Earth 2, the sequel. It's like Earth is back, but this time it's pissed, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's Earth 2. <laughs> It's back well, for it's revenge. The last one died. Just when you thought it was That's safe right. to go back to Earth. Right. Yeah. So why did they re-enter that way? I don't think they had a choice. They were, oh, they were, were there was an explosion. They were caught in the Somehow Earth's Jason gravity. is Earth getting shot towards the ship randomly. Yeah. Yes. Teleportation. And then <laughs> Sergeant Labrosi comes out of nowhere like he can control his suit with mega speed from the left. Yeah. Like exit stage left just shoots right across and hits him and then rides him yeah. down to earth. Yeah, but, like, th- but this is the weird thing. They were like, punching it. It was like, like a tandem skydive yeah. almost. Like, why are they still connected to each He's other? He's like piggybacking on Jason. <laughs> that was the weird part to me. I'm like, could you just be like, just kick him off? A kick him off a little bit or like, what's He's happening? make sure he dies. <laughs> And Jason is just like, does not even care what's happening. He's no. literally just like, he's like, oh, a new earth. He's like, this is a hell of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? He he's getting, can't wait to find some campers. Which yeah. is what happens. Yes. 100%. Yeah. These campers are like, do you see that? It landed in the lake. Yeah, Let's they're about to have sexy time. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's a good thing they're checking it out before sexy time. <laughs> is he still, Nobody is Jason still that alive? That yeah, oh, yeah, because we just see the burned out mask fall into the water. I mean, he melted once and came back. I suppose. I, I, or I don't think we're going to see him again in this timeline. Yeah. And then they go to kiss and they're like, make a wish. Because that's the. <laughs> so that's good you brought that up, Keith. That, that was the end that's of the Jason. last scene of Jason ever on film. Really? Yeah. What about the mask? Jason versus. Freddy takes place before this. Uh, in the timeline. The sole reason this that. movie is made is because they needed to make a movie while they were waiting to figure out Jason versus Freddy because they were going to run out of the rights if they didn't make a movie. This was the longest amount of time. Oh, yes, that's movies. what it was. Mm. So they that's had to do one, and that's they're <laughs> kicking around ideas, and the space was actually one of the ideas for Jason versus Freddy that didn't work out, so they're mm-hmm. like, let's oh. just use this. Mm. So they literally threw a movie together last minute, yeah. which you can tell. Yeah. And but that's why it's so it cookie cutter. It, they leaned into comedy on purpose. It was supposed yeah. to be more of a comedy, and I don't, I don't even consider this a horror. Technically, it's more of a sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. it's a sci-fi thriller. Or With, a, uh, ugh, a it's campy. Element. Yeah, it's a space movie. It is. It's yeah. every space it's movie. It's a nineteen nineties I mean, TV yeah. show space movie. It's everything that we have already reviewed in this podcast. Yeah, I mean, it might as well be Ice Pirates. It might as well have been. <laughs> Might as well have been. I would have loved some space knights to come out running through the like and, <laughs> with their swords Javelin and everything. Him. Yeah, the hell, I still don't understand that at all. I, that's a callback. That, that callback. All right, <laughs> we'll record. It. We have to record that. <laughs> I will for the for the next one for the new one. This is actually, I think, there's only gonna be one more episode after this one with the old music. We're about to have our new music. Oh, so, we got new you know, music. Yeah, we have a, a buddy of mine is writing our own. Mu- so those of you who don't know, we've literally been using the canned music that comes <laughs> with the roadcaster. But it's okay. become it's like so the Campbell signature. mushroom soup of music because none of us are musicians and could do it else. We're like, oh, they got a song on here. Cool, we'll just use that. And I've never heard it before. Not, a lot well, of those I've heard on right. many different podcasts. This was not one I've well. Will Nobody I'm would happy. ever think about using it. That's why. <laughs> and so we're actually going to make it. We have made our own uh, Bad Movies Rule Music. So we'll be debuting that soon along with the new studio. We're so. going to use the classic tune for like mailbag. I'd, well, I wasn't going to. No. Are you really that sad to see it go? I just I felt like it became a. Uh, we've used yeah. it for a year. It's become such a staple it of has. our show. Time to move on. All, all things must end eventually. Guys, it is time. To give some awards, we got to give this thing its flowers. All right. Okay, we have to ch- 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 all over this movie. <laughs> we start as always with the. We got to upload all of this movie. We're gonna give an upload here. Uh, I'm due for an upload. Um, the will. I just blame the should, Will Patton Award for I intensity. <laughs> will Patton is uh, synonymous with intensity and taking his roles seriously and giving intensity even when. Maybe the people around him aren't. And so who in this movie deserves the Will Patton Award for Intensity, Kurt? I went with uh, 
the Sergeant Broski. Okay. Or whatever his name is. Peter Mensa. Yeah, Peter Mensa. Mm-hmm. I'm with him. Okay. That's a good call. Like, I feel like he was the one that kind of made it real and, and actually did a real job. I mean, other than his corny lines, but yeah. I think, again, that's just writing. But his delivery as far as the characters is... He, he took it seriously. Yeah. I think for he sure. did a good job. Who you got for us, Joe? Um... I'm going to have to go with uh, uh, Lisa Ryder, the KM. KM. Yeah. She was good. She, I, I know in the, in the beginning, you know, she played that, that, that monotone kind of character, but she once, was a they, robot. Once, they, once they gave her that upload, <laughs> that she server Android. update. Update. <laughs> <laughs> she got updated to iOS, you know. Exactly. The new one, whatever it is. I don't yep. want to say the number because it'll date the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right. Good yeah. call. Good call. Keith, who you got for Will Patton? I also went with Kurt. I got Peter Mensa. Peter Mensa. I think he just brought it. Okay. He, he, okay. he was in the character and he, you know, yeah. he thought he was in a better movie. I like, yeah. I like <laughs> That's a great way of putting I, I it. Yes. Too. I, I mean, it yeah. was, yeah. I, I don't disagree with yours. I think she did great in it as well, especially since she was rushing through. Yeah. Much. Yeah. Well, I went with David Cronenberg. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, he was spot I did, on. He was super in, into intense in what he was doing and really went for it. So, Who but was he again? He was the, the guy from the beginning of the movie that gets killed, the leader of the lab that's like, no, oh. we're sending him to Scranton. Oh, gotcha. Guy. Nice. But with two votes, uh, that means that uh, Peter Mensa is going to win the Will yes. Patton Award Yay. for Way intensity. So nice job, Peter. Peter? Now he can live. Peter. Forget 300. Now he now he's made it. Yeah. Peter, I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in <laughs> tomorrow. We got this guy running around this ship, and uh, we sort of need you to play catch up. We got to get you in here. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Great. Thanks a bunch. What, what do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I walk around. I kill people. <laughs> and I believe you have my stapler. That's right. Anytime I hear anybody named Peter, that's what I think of. All right. The next award is the Michael Dudikoff Trash Can oh, Full geez. of Dirt Award, uh, which, my goodness, we are spoiled for choice in tough. this movie. I uh, this is the one that the award we give out to the worst actor in the movie, the one who displayed the acting range of a trash can full of dirt. Yes. I went with uh, Dr. Whizzletooth. <laughs> the guy in the, the drawer? The guy in the drawer. <laughs> they, you, know, you don't need that guy. He's, He's like, so we need, good. We need an actor. We got to just really pull the drawer out here. Yeah. He felt like a guy in a drawer. Yeah. He, <laughs> he pulled that off, Kurt. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like pulling out the drawer, I thought he was like pretty bad. the lid off the get off the trash can. can. That's yeah. right. It would have been the He's same. Just down inside. Here's all the info you need on Jason. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch over here. Oh my gosh, who you got, Joe? Uh, it's it's a tough one. Um, I think <laughs> to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna have to go with Todd Farmer. Todd Ouch. Farmer. Ouch. Dallas. Some of the Ouch. best acting in this movie. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll, he was I'm the not writer. Stand on that he one. wrote himself into that part, and you could tell. Yeah. He, he, oh, my gosh. I didn't like him. I'm glad his That's face fair. got smashed. You're like, oh, thank God. I was cheering for Jason almost the entire movie. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's. What you should that, be doing. That's what I'm should saying. Be doing, yeah. This is like the second movie where we're rooting for the bad guy because he's the good guy in the movie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, well, like when we did Batman and Robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that was really just about a misunderstood doctor trying to help his wife. That was a long time ago, too. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Keith, for the Michael Dudikoff? It's tough. I got two. I mean, there's a oh, ton of terrible yes. people in this movie. Yes. Yeah. And I'll have to pick one. But you I can't be wrong. That's Kenzie the good thing. and... Uh, crutch because they're in the entire movie and you forget they exist the you entire movie they're in the until entire movie. they're dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, oh, yeah. maybe you're right. That's pretty bad. I think I'm going to go with Kenzie because okay. I hated her. All right. Crutch, I just forgot existed mostly, but Kenzie, terrible. Ken's, uh, uh, well, that's fair. Again, the nice thing about wrong. this one is you couldn't be wrong. You yep. could yeah. literally pick anyone and you're right. Uh, I actually went with guy in the drawer too. I don't know what his name was. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna end up winning nice. the Will Pat uh, or not the Will Boyd Pat. Banks. So no, Boyd, no, 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 wait, no. That's oh, Fat Lou. That's Fat Lou. So give me a second. I'll find it. Here. Guy in the drawer is gonna end up winning the Michael Dudikoff trash can full of dirt award. As an honorable mention, I did have Lexa Doig as the girl that played Final Girl slash Rowan Doig. Okay. No, it's D O I G is yeah. how you spell her last name. It's got to be Doig, right? Doig. Yeah. I'm, anyway, I'm I thought she that. was pretty terrible, too. I almost gave it to Final Girl. Yeah. I I think the reason for that is she yeah. was rushed, though. Like, she had a much bigger part going oh. in, and she got hired for Andromeda along with KM, oh. and she didn't have as much time on set as she was supposed to. 
So she was also supposed to have a boyfriend. Like there was oh. a whole big chunk that was cut out. Oh well, geez, so that, that makes a lot makes more a sense. Bit more sense <laughs> that would have made the movie better. No, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> then there would have been four people alive at the end, or That's three right. and a head. Uh, jeez, three and a head. three and a head. <laughs> All right, so the next part is subjective. This is literally just not who was best, but who were your favorite three performances in this movie? What was your top three? Number one, I'm going with Jason. Okay, Kane Hodder. I enjoyed, I just, the little nuances of him, like, he could say so much, and he wore a mask through 100% of the movie, and just from his nudges and his what would he say? head turns like and his, his and sigh it, and yeah and just the <laughs> way that his childhood he would he would speak through his body language it was fantastic <laughs> oh for sure that's, and then an I would say uh, number two I <laughs> Baldy Locks uh, <laughs> Farmer no uh, the, the Mensa oh yeah, yeah Peter yeah, Mensa yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I liked him and then uh, I went with three Robot Girl okay KM yeah Lisa Ryder. Fantastic. Nice. Good picks. What do you got, Joe? Uh, I'll do uh, 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 Lexa. Yes. Lexa, yes? No. Lex, Lexa whatever. Doig? Doig? I'll go Lexi Doig. It's got to be my, Doig. Yeah, as yeah. my number three. Wow. Uh, do you have a problem with this? I just said, wow. Wow. Yes. Don't. It's like <laughs> Owen Wilson. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to go with Kane Hodder. Wow. Jason. Wow. 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 And then I'm going to do, again, Kurtz uh, KM. Oh, yeah. Good pick, Joe. <laughs> Man, you know something? Nice. If I can't oh. make a pick yeah. without getting berated no, by you 